I'm going to keep this super short this time. I've just been chatting to someone explaining the difference between what our gut microbiome needs in terms of fuel and what we need in terms of fuel. And what it turns out is that most of us don't realize that we're eating for us and we're eating for them. And it's a completely different thing. So let me very, very, very quickly show you what I mean by that. If we think of this as our digestive chute, obviously it's a lot more squiggly than that, but I'm simplifying. So this end is the eating end. So the food goes in here, the poop comes out down here. The food that we need gets digested at the top end. Okay, so the food comes out here, 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 here. This is the food for us, but the rest of the food does not get digested by us. And this is very, 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 very important because that prebiotic fiber in plants goes through, isn't digested at the top end. And so it arrives at the bottom and it does not cross the lining because the gut bacteria the microbes live inside here and so they get to eat that part of the food that we eat so we need to eat food that gets absorbed so that we can eat it and we need to eat the food that does not get absorbed so that it travels down to the far end of the chute where our gut bacteria feed on it and if we don't feed them they start feeding on us and they start eating the lining of the gut wall which leads to a whole host of problems that we don't want so i hope that made things a little bit clearer <laughs>